There are times when we feel on top of the world and then there are times when we feel low, sad, overwhelmed, in a funk. It happens to all of us, but we don't have to stay there. In just five minutes, you can shake off that funk. When I'm feeling low, here are four things that help me cope. The first tip is C. Connect with a friend. Chat with a good friend for just five minutes and let them pour into you. We are social beings and connecting with others is one of the keys to a healthy body and mind. Chatting or spending some time with a close friend can really lift your mood. I am an introvert. I don't have many close friends. But there are some who, when I connect with them, I always leave feeling better. I recently met up with my good friend Ayana, who I hadn't seen for quite some time, and we had such fun catching up and sharing a meal together. I also spent a few days with my cousin Bernadette and her family, who have been there for me through the years. I always feel so nurtured and loved when I spend time with them. And last month, I spent a weekend in the countryside with my good friend Antoinette, who's been a supportive friend for many years and always a source of good advice. Having a friend you can rely on not only lifts your mood, I've read that it can also strengthen your heart and your immune system. Relationships aren't easy, but there are some genuine people out there. Reach out to them and let them give you a boost. The second tip is O. Oh, organize and declutter. Putting your house in order, if you can do it, is one of the most comforting activities and the benefits are incalculable. Set your timer for five minutes. Clear your desk, the kitchen counter or the entryway or just run through your house and find some items to declutter. Decluttering and organizing your physical space not only puts your house in order, but can also lift your mood. Sometimes when I'm in a funk, it means that I'm overwhelmed and overstretched, and my physical space usually reflects that. When I take the time to tidy my space, I feel so much freer. Our stuff can really weigh us down. Tidy your space and feel your mood begin to lift. When you organize even a small space, you feel so accomplished and so much lighter. Give it a try and let me know. To organize my mental space, I like to do a brain dump where I write all the things that are clouding my mind. Getting my thoughts out on paper frees up some mental bandwidth and gives me a feeling of relief. I also like to make a to-do list or a list of priorities to help me get back on track. The third tip is P. Pray or meditate. More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. Research shows that prayer and meditation can calm our nervous system by shutting down the fight or flight response. It can make us less angry and less reactive to negative emotions. I read an interesting interview with Professor Andrew Newberg, and he's a neuroscientist and pioneer in the field of neurotheology. Neurotheology is an emerging field of study. It seeks to understand the relationship between our brain and our religious or spiritual self. Dr. Newberg has studied the effects of prayer and meditation on the brain for over 25 years, and he's written more than 10 books on the topic. His studies have shown that prayer and meditation can increase activity in the frontal lobes of the brain, which are connected to attention and focus. Prayer and meditation also affect the limbic system, which is the part of the brain responsible for emotional and behavioral responses. It's also shown that having a spiritual or religious practice can give you a greater sense of meaning and purpose and a brighter outlook. When you're in a funk, you can feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. And it can be so refreshing to know that you have a supportive and loving God or universe on your side. Prayer helps me to tap into that source and it gives me the guidance, strength and comfort I need. I acknowledge that I am nothing and that God is in control. I believe that we have to do our part, but there are some things only God can do. Sometimes we say, well, we've tried everything, so it's up to God now. But I recently heard someone say that prayer should not be our last line of defense, but our first line of offense. When I'm in Trinidad, one of my favorite places to spend time in nature and prayer is the Mount St. Benedict Monastery. It's a Benedictine monastery established in 1912. 
As a child, I would go there for retreats and we would pray with the monks. And since then, it has always been a special place for me. And the views are awesome. D is for exercise. To keep the body in good health is a duty. Otherwise, we shall not be able to keep our mind strong and clear. It's been proven that just a five minute walk can benefit our health and our mood. The Journal of Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise published a study in which they examined the unexpected benefits of short walks. And they found that just a two to five minute walk may help to prevent the deterioration that occurs from prolonged sitting. Our physiological state directly impacts the chemicals and neural activity in the brain which then impact our emotional state. When you move your body, it releases endorphins and that can boost your mood. Physical exercise is so important for our mental health that it's being integrated into mental health care. The European Psychiatric Association promotes the use of physical activity interventions in treating major depressive disorder and schizophrenia. If you've been sitting at your desk for a long time and you're feeling low, get up and shake a leg for five minutes. The bonus point is to flood your mind with positive material. I keep a list of positive quotes that help me when I'm feeling down. Or sometimes I watch a podcast, video, or read an article or book. If you've been feeling low for an extended period and have access to a therapist, they will be able to provide some strategies that are tailored to your situation. We all go through difficult periods in life. Don't give up. You're more resilient than you think and you'll get through this. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. See you soon.